What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are here on the free to play. We're gonna be fighting Winter of Go Nebula with our Professor X. We got a seven star rank one Professor X. And he actually fits one of the objectives. Uh, he fits the medium and offensive burst. And he's probably like my best option for the free to play because I don't have that big of a roster, too many options. And uh, I was sure yesterday on my stream that it was possible because you know, you can just get your buffs but I knew it wasn't gonna be, like, it wasn't gonna be easy. And I couldn't really try it on my stream because I had, you know, recoils on, on my main account. But here on the free to play, I actually do not have recoils. And I can try this. I got the same Professor X, a seven star rank one. And yeah, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna try and build up our buffs. We wanna get to 100 of our charges and then ideally throw two special ones so we can get our first four buffs, which we are gonna do here. Yo is gonna throw the special while you're charging a heavy. Here we're gonna cancel into our block, do the same thing. We're gonna dash in so you don't get rooted. And now I wanna show you a tip for, you know, Professor X, but it could be for someone else as well. So, you know, when you parry, one of your buffs gets nullified. But the buff that gets nullified is the buff that you triggered last. So here, as long as I dex, as you can see here, I parry, I lose my dexterity. That's what gets nullified. It's always your last buff, the last buff that you triggered. So if I got my prowess and then I dex, it's always gonna eat my dex. So that's that's a cool tip that can definitely help you for champions that do have buffs, but it's actually kind of hard to maintain the buffs. So even for like maybe crossbones, it could be, could be kind of cool. But yeah, we're almost here. We got five prowess and here we can actually dex and parry. Do the same thing again. You always wanna dex though, cause you know, if, if we lose a prowess, basically one way is sp1 we're gonna go for a special one here we have the mind control we're gonna dex here so we can refresh and now we have six buffs which is great she, that means she cannot auto block which is just which, which is what we want uh so we want to bait that special one here i don't know if she's gonna throw it she did okay and here i'm just trying to be as aggressive as possible because i want to maintain my prowess uh if i can and here, I think I'm going to need to throw a special one here. I think I'm going to charge my heavy. Yeah. And then here, I do not have the falter, but it's pretty easy to like counter them. Even if you don't have the falter, which is special. So not bad here. We get some nice damage. Got the refresh and now we got a hundred charges as well. So we are going to build up to a nice special two here. Now that we can actually basic attack without being worried getting it uh, auto blocked. We're also going to get rooted a bit here, but we got our falter. Like I said, it's the nice safety that you have with Professor X. I really like using Professor X. I mean, he's such a cool champion. I wish he was just a little bit better in BGs, but he's kind of a ramp-up champ. So here I want to bait this special too quick, because my prowess are running low, man. I'm just trying to bait this. Come on. And it seems like when she's in the unblockable phase, she's kind of more aggressive, so she's going to throw it, like, probably. So here we just barely get the reinforcement. Like, that was like, that was like the last tick. But now we have 10 prowess. Our damage is pretty good. We actually fired off another special one, which is gonna put me at 11. I think I'm gonna do dex here, yeah. Just wanted to get the refresh, because having zero mind control charges, it could take some time to build up there. So I just wanna have the refresh. Without white mags, uh, his prowess don't last too long, but it's still pretty good. Gonna do the heavy attack. I always dash in after the heavy attack when she's got the unblockable phase. But I never do it when she's got the shock phase, just because she might like block and then I take some shock damage. So here we're looking good, man. We're looking really good. We got a hundred charges and we got a special two. It's gonna be a big special two, man. Boom! That was a that was a pretty beautiful special two. And then we're gonna go for a special one, get another two prowesses. We got 14. Oh actually, actually uh, I went for the refresh. Okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna get it because I you know I refreshed the previous special. But I think I guess it's pretty safe to do too. I shouldn't be greedy. So as you can see, we dash in after the heavy, which is the unblockable. Because we could get an easy opening. Here, I have the falter, so I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's just try and build up to our charges. And I basically need like two heavies, and then I can pop my uh, special two. There we go, she threw it. So I'm going to do a heavy into another heavy into the special two. Don't care if I miss it because I'm going to just, I just need to refresh. Again, just barely refreshed, but it's it's pretty tight, man. It's it's pretty close. Got another special two. It's unblockable. Deal some nice damage. We got 17 prowess. 
And at this point, I'm like, I don't need to build up to another 100 charges. Because one special suit is gonna do it. Like, it's definitely gonna do it. 70 prowess is pretty huge. Get a nice light intercept here. We got the falter if something happens. Gotta be careful with the special look because I cannot falter the special. And at this point, like, she's not throwing her special. So I'm gonna have to throw my special just to refresh. Even if it doesn't deal any damage. Like, I'm not even gonna heavy. Don't risk it. I just don't wanna lose my prowess. Because I got 17. I need them. Because, like, it would go down to zero. Which means, like, no counter to auto block. It would just be, like, the beginning of the fight. Which is it's just really tough. And, you know, at this point, I'm like... I really want that special. I really want her to throw that special. Because I'm like, one special two is gonna do it. Like, it's definitely gonna do it. And then I hear I get rooted. So it's like, are you kidding me? Can you throw your special? And she's not throwing it. Luckily, she threw it there. Just before the unblockable phase. And at this point, I'm like, she's not gonna give me an opening. So I'm just gonna use my falter. And that's what I do. Into my special two without the heavy. But it was enough to kill her. So this was, this was a tough solo. It definitely took me more tries to do the Valkyrie because I'm a newbie with Valkyrie. But I actually really like playing Professor X. And uh, yeah, even with class advantage, she can do it in under six minutes with just a seven star rank one. So if she got a seven star rank one, which, you know, he was on the base pool, you might actually have him. You can do the uh, the medium objective, medium and offensive, offensive burst damage, I believe. Oh yeah, guys, Professor X works for this. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.